Hey guys, Nick with Phone Arena here, and in case you haven't heard the news, LG just announced its newest high-end smartphone, the LG G3. It is awesome for a number of reasons, but mostly because of the impressive hardware thrown into it, such as its QHD display, its Snapdragon 801 system on chip, and its upgraded 13 megapixel camera. A phone that we were just as excited about at its unveiling was the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Samsung's phablet has quite a lot going for it, even though it has been around for many months. However, is the Note 3 a worthy rival to the LG G3? From a design standpoint, the LG G3 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 belong to the very same league. The G3 may be made of plastic, but it doesn't look bad at all with its metallic, fingerprint-resistant finish. The Note 3 is a plastic-made device as well, but its leather-like finish has a sophisticated look and feels nice to the touch. We have to say though that the LG G3 is relatively easier to handle as it is shorter and narrower. On a side note, both smartphones have been designed with removable back covers behind which reside their batteries and card slots. Like it or not, the power and volume buttons on the LG G3 are placed on its back, right where the user's index finger is expected to rest. Surely some will be okay with this unusual solution, while others won't really like it. On-screen virtual keys are used for navigation through the Android interface. Samsung is playing it safe with the Galaxy Note 3, its power key rests on the right side, where it is easy to reach, while the volume buttons are on the left side of the device. Below the display of the Note 3 reside a physical home key, together with capacitive buttons for the back and menu functions. The S Pen is one of the perks that you get along with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. In a nutshell, the accessory is an advanced pressure-sensitive stylus used mostly for note-taking and sketching. The LG G3 does not come with a stylus out of the box, but we wouldn't call this a serious drawback by any means. The LG G3 boasts a 5.5-inch LCD display with a jaw-dropping resolution of 1440 by 2560 pixels. This makes it the most pixel-dense display on a smartphone, which explains why graphics and text look so sharp when displayed on the G3. But next to it, the Galaxy Note 3's display looks almost as detailed when viewed from a normal distance. The 5.7-inch screen on the Note 3 has a resolution of 1080 by 1920 pixels, which is still sufficient for a consumer's needs. Android 4.4 KitKat runs on the LG G3 out of the box. And on top of it, we find LG's custom interface in its latest form. It has a clean, modern look with animations that are smooth and unobtrusive, so overall, the UI is very pleasing visually. Some of the features thrown in include an intelligent keyboard that adapts to your typing habits over time, a virtual assistant providing smart notifications, and a broader range of options for securing the user's files from prying eyes. Using two apps side by side is also an option. The TouchWiz user interface on the Galaxy Note 3 gets the job done, but visually it doesn't seem as inviting as LG's solution. When it comes to features, on the other hand, it has quite a lot to offer. Multi-window, for example, lets us use two applications at the same time. The My Magazine feature acts as a personalized magazine powered by Flipboard. And the S Pen Stylus, which comes included with the phone, can be used for drawing and for taking notes. Under the hood of the LG G3, we find a flagship-worthy chip, the Snapdragon 801. It has a maximum clock speed of 2.5 GHz, and it's also backed up by 2 or 3 GB of RAM depending on the market. The Samsung Galaxy Note 3 has a slightly less powerful, but still pretty capable Snapdragon 800 system on chip, with a 2.3 GHz maximum clock speed. You also get 3 GB of RAM. All in all, the LG G3 might seem to have the upper hand when it comes to raw power, but we are not expecting to see any significant differences in real-world performance between the two handsets. We have high hopes for the 13-megapixel camera on the LG G3. It has optical image stabilization for blur-free images, a two-tone LED flash for improved color accuracy, and a laser beam for fast and accurate autofocusing. We were able to take the G3 for a spin and to try its camera out, and the results did not disappoint. Nevertheless, we know that the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 takes great photos and videos, which is why it could give the G3 some heated competition in this category. The Note 3 comes with a 13 megapixel camera, software image stabilization, and a single LED flash. And that, guys, was our early comparison between the LG G3 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. From the looks of it, the LG G3 is the better equipped smartphone, 
which is expected since it is a brand new flagship model, while the Note 3 has been around since last October. The LG G3 has a faster processor, a more pixel-dense screen and an optically stabilized 13-megapixel camera, among a list of other notable highlights. But the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 should not be underestimated. It is still a great smartphone overall, and even if the G3 has the upper hand, it isn't leading by all that much. Thank you for watching our early comparison between the Galaxy Note 3 and the LG G3. For more details, check out our website phonearena.com.